how it's grown and how it's developed and um, it's really really exciting so for me it was just to fill, fill a void that like I needed with wrestling and Annika's done that for me so yeah I'm really excited about like, the future. It focuses a lot more on deathmatch wrestling um, I think there was as I say a bit, a bit of a, a void and a gap in the market for it you know you've got like Fight Club like pro like the really like super strong style and then you've got progress wrestling you know they're like punk rock and you know they're they're all unique in their own individual right but with anarchy it was a case of i really like deathmatch wrestling you know i grew up in like mick foley and like you know like terry funk and it was like oh geez like i want to make this happen and i want to see this but i'm not seeing enough of it so if i can create it why not do that and then you've got people like drew parker and clint margera you know just coming up well i say coming up in the scene like Drew's obviously just fresh back on um, TOD, CZW, and like Nick Mardero, like my opinion, is one of the best deathmatch wrestlers in the world. And it's cool that I can work with them and bring out my vision of what like deathmatch wrestling, because a lot of people seem to, they used to look down upon it, you know, as if it's like, oh, it's not a real style of wrestling, you know. You do it with deathmatches because you can't work, but you look at someone like Jimmy Havoc who can hold his own against someone like Doug Williams and Johnny Kidd, as well as someone like Nick Mardero or Jack Jester or, you know, Matt Trumon, Um so I think that if I was to point out a niche, I would say it's definitely the, the focus on like just the, the fun, wacky, like we've got the deathmatch, you know, we've got the deathmatch stuff, and we've also got like Damon Mosa wrestling a bear. So I like to keep that verse, I, I like to keep it versatile, I, like to, I want everyone to have fun. The main thing I want people to take away from Anarchy is I had fun and it was different, you know, as opposed to, oh yeah, it was, it was a good show, you know, there was like these, there was crazy matches, obviously I want that, but the main, the main word I want is fun. It's just caters to a niche market, which is still very much there. They still want, so that's why um, companies like CCW have been so successful. Um, and then it's just added stuff on top, which has kept people there. Like there's a lot of comedy, a lot of ridiculousness. It's not just the death matches. Death matches got people in the door, and then some stuff gets people to come back. <laughs> Um, it's a very rock club kind of feel, so uh, yeah, and you know you get a good mix of obviously we're in London, so you get a lot of the the London wrestlers, but you get a mix of some of the the Midlands wrestlers who are doing you know big things in the UK right now, and it's just a, a, an opportunity to see a lot of a different variety of wrestlers wrestling each other. It's not sold by the books, which is like a really good thing. So it has a very very unique vibe about it because there's more violence, but there's more silliness. Like there's not much else like that in the UK. I mean, Anarchy Pro specifically is definitely differentiated by its like deathmatchness and absolute chaos and like no rulesness <laughs> yeah. of it. And uh, it's still in like kind of a small punk rocky venue, kind of like an early progress. Yeah. Um, but then it still has like it would have a comedy match, like what me and Santos just put on, like as like a variety thing. <laughs> Oh, you mug! 
what they're going for here is kind of like to have a gruesome like edge to it, which is pretty unlike any other company in the UK that I know of. Uh, it's just like a bit mental. It's, you know, it's just sort of anything goes. Lots of death matches, lots of weapons matches. A platform for people to go a bit mental, really. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just a bit it's just a bit limitless. That's, that's what I think it is. Just, yeah. It's just more limitless. How I think of it is every type of wrestling is just like a genre of music. So like there are going to be pop music fans, there are going to be metal music fans, just like there's technical wrestling fans, there's deathmatch wrestling fans. It is literally just your required taste. Fuck. Take that shit out. I think it's, it's like, I guess when you're watching a horror film, it's kind of the wow factor or the, you know, if you see a car crash as, as, as horrible as it is to look at it, you kind of can't help but but look at it and um, I suppose when you know pro wrestling there's, there's certain things that people see that will blow their minds but it's, there's, there's limits to that I guess whereas with weapons it's you know as soon as you see blood you're like oh my god this is this is real this is this is happening oh my god this is violent and as much as it sometimes it makes you shudder or you want to you know not watch it's something you can't take your eyes off so um, I think just the added danger element just gets people interested. I don't know. I think it's because it's, it's awesome and it's and it's gets a good reaction and it's uh, you know people are bloodthirsty. Yeah. They don't want to admit they're bloodthirsty, and we give that to them. And I, you know, like I'll put it out there. Like I'm not I'm not only a deathmatch wrestler. Like I do other matches as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Most of the time I don't do death matches, but I do them at the moment for this purpose. Yeah. Uh, they just they just give people what they want, don't they? Like people are bloodthirsty. They want to see crazy shit. Like they want to see like like my character is like a a, a posh um, entitled asshole who thinks he's better than everybody else, and everybody wants to see that guy bleed. Yeah, you know. So that's what I do. Um, it's the best. It's just like it simply is the best. People from like it's gotten to the stage that people from other countries are like desperate to wrestle in England now, um, and that's down to like. You know, like the companies like Progress and uh, Fight Club, you know, which is incredible. Even like the, I'd say the smaller ones, but like they're just important, like Attack Pro Wrestling. I spoke to you before about that. It's, yeah. You know, like there are so many, like there are so many wrestlers from all over the world that are hearing about these companies, and they're like, I wanna, you know, I, I wanna, I wanna work there because it's um. Yeah, it's, it's gotten to a stage now in which you can make a full-time living off of professional wrestling and as, as great as it is to like, you know, work with the biggest companies, you know, in the country and um, in the world even, it's nice to know that you can, you know, you can stay in your hometown and you can still make a really good living off that. I've been doing this for almost 16 years now, so when I started in Scotland there was, there was nothing to work towards. I did it because I loved it, you know, I enjoyed wrestling and <clears throat> I wanted to be a wrestler. There was no incentive to get on this show or that show or, you know there's so much incentive now as well but yeah. and that's just for us but the quality of the shows have just increased dramatically okay and um, when i look back at some of the early stuff that even i was involved in or the shows that i was involved in i mean it was terrible because there was nobody there that was directing anything wrestling is a huge thing yeah and i think we kind of got angry about it as well because we were all busting our ass yeah and everybody wanted to go to america you know everybody yeah. when i started there was no for me to go to england was a big thing yeah, you know yeah. and that's what we all tried to get there and then the Scots tried to switch that so that the English wanted to come to us. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it kind of goes back and forth. It still does to this day, you know. Obviously, the wrestling's obviously improved over the years, and, and British wrestling especially is, you know, a lot of the, the people that are making it in, in wrestling, the people that are going over to America, going to Japan, they're the British wrestlers. And um, I'm not sure what it is especially about British wrestling that has, has made it so popular, but it just... Wrestling as a whole is just really popular with people. A lot of people are into wrestling instead of just into music. It's kind of like people who used to like punk rock back in the day, they kind of like wrestling now.
from like 10, 15 years ago. Wrestling's coming up and then they was at a point and the internet just blew up and helped that people were finally looking at like Britain and like, oh, these guys are like, they're veterans. Yeah. They're, they're amazing. They've been doing this how long? And most of them still like, kids, a lot of younger than me. Yeah. You know? Um, so they were just doing it with no eyes on them. Okay. Got really fucking good. And then once the eyes were there, it was like, oh shit, we need to we need to show this to the world. We need to put this on this platform. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, in like years ago, before like WWE was focused on like building the UK thing, mm. there was like even festivals. It was like we use, using British wrestling companies, like okay. download festivals. Yeah. So, um, I think others as well. Uh, but download's the biggest one I can remember. And it's just stuff like that. It's just and the internet and people from America. Obviously, looking for alternative products, yeah, and they just it's just caught up, caught their eye. Even just like the last three or four years, like there's so much more money now. Like fans are more passionate, and say an average audience five years ago would have been less than half as much as it is now. Like it's just grown and grown and grown. No, 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 no. But everybody, to me it seems everybody's just really fucking good because everyone works hard. They want it to be the best scene in the fucking world, mm. uh, and that's what they've done. And also the thing is because like it's a bit you know it's a bit different to America and it's so much smaller. So like so like everybody has the potential to grow faster. Yeah, yeah. You know like we can like as a as a scene it, it grows faster and people get over quicker. Yeah. Because the fan base is relatively the same. Uh, and and the fans are great, and it's also you know you, you got you got to say thank you got to be like thanks to the fans, you know yeah. like the fans are amazing. So it's yeah I think it's just people are just coming into their own and and you know and they just know what they do and they trust themselves and uh, and the people at the top, as far as I'm aware, help the people at the bottom. Um, yeah. I say just again like just the way it it flows. It's like it's accepted by fans, and I think there's a lot more fun that's. You know, slowly being injected again. Um, there, I think there was a stage at some point people were so they felt under so much pressure because it blew up. You know, it was it was huge. You know, like back back in the day when we were kids and we were watching it on TV, and then it just sort of blew up again. And everyone was like, "Wow, this is a really good scene to get involved in." And there was a bit of there was quite a lot of pressure, you know, to to do well and like get you know like get onto the bigger shows. Um, and I think that's that pressure's still there, but now it's it's there's a lot of enjoyment. Like enjoyment with it, and I think people are genu just genuinely happy. Oh. Come on, Chris, you wanna quit? Huh? You wanna quit, you little bitch? Oh. Huh? Oh. 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 Chris. Chris. Yeah, the fans are fine. Like, hey. Because they just they bring us weapons, so they help us out. Right. <laughs> yeah, they just like it. Like, in, in February, I dressed up as a bear, and they just got with it. They just got into it, you know. Uh, they're completely open to anything. Okay. It doesn't matter. They're not gonna look, like as long as it's funny and done well. Yeah. They'll get with it. If something's awful, then they're not gonna just clap along. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's other there's companies that. Fans now they're just open. They're aware of what wrestling is. Yeah. It's just they're not often and they're completely open to anything being able to Chief! Have you been promoted to constable yet? Yeah. Yeah. It's just become cooler. So about it, like it's more underground, which is like and I think in modern day people want that feel of like going to the cool underground sort of hipster-esque. Thing. People want to find something that's cool before it's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess there's a couple of things. Like, it's really, it always feels like sweet to be like a part of something. Like, I've never been like a football fan or something, but like, they all seem to like really belong. Like, if you see someone else with a, I don't know, Wolverhampton Wolves yeah, 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 yeah. shirt, then you're like, oh, we're, we're in this together. Like, it, it's like a cool, new, exciting, like, passionate thing to be a part of, to be part of. Like whilst it's growing in this massive like 
new golden age or whatever. So I guess it makes sense. That, like, and like wrestling fans are typically pretty damn friendly. Yeah. And also like quite a lot of us pretty socially awkward. So yeah. like if we can all hang out with other <laughs> friendly, socially awkward yeah. people, then that's kind of nice as well. It just is, uh, I'm just a prime example that like, you know, I got into wrestling when I was 26. I'm now 28. Um, and really, it's just a prime example of the fact that, like, number one, you know, you can never wait. You can only wait so long to live your life the way you want to live it. Mm. And if you really take the time to make a dream come true, then it, I am proof that it can. I don't work for the WWE. I don't do any of that stuff. It's not to say that I won't, because that is a dream of mine. Like, once I get into a bit more shape and, like, you know, to keep improving and keep getting better and work harder, which is my intention. Yeah. But if you put, if you, if you can imagine, to me, what wrestling represents wait, wait. is, oh God, wrestling okay, is British wrestling. Wrestling, to me, British wrestling is a community of people, girls, guys, all genders, who are genuinely following a dream. They're genuinely making their dreams come true. Yeah. That's to me what wrestling is. It's a gr it's a small community of people who are all lovely and look after each other. It's a group of people who like pretend to hurt each other and they all get on so well and they're all so lovely. Yeah. And they're all just following a dream. And that, that to me is like that that to me is like really uplift. That to me is like I want to be part of that. I want it to be a wrestler anyway, but yeah. I want to be part of this community. I want to be part of a community that like, no, we're all bonded by the fact that we're all trying to make our dreams come true. Yeah, yeah I don't think I've ever said it that way, but that to me, I really think that's, I really think that's what it is. A lot of like my close friends and just a lot of people that I know through wrestling are making a full time living off of wrestling. And I think that's probably the biggest thing that's changed. And I think it's amazing. It's been a massive change, um, obviously I've, for as long as I've wrestled, I've had a job. So like, I've been wrestling for 12 years. I've had like office work for the last 12 years. Um, yeah, it just I've gone from just you know juggling both to being able to just do what I love, which is obviously wrestling. The, the, the job was, you know, the people were great, but it's just I knew where my heart was. So to be able to just wrestle, put all my 100% my focus on that, it's just been great. I've been able to like rest a little bit. Obviously when I'm working and I'm wrestling and working, there's just no downtime and I was definitely feeling fatigued, but I feel a lot better for it now and I've been very busy, so it's great, it's real good.